This is RepairLaunch.com and the Samsung Water Damage Repair Video. This is the Samsung i500, the Fascinate. First you remove the back cover, it's very easy. Next you remove the battery using a safety pry tool or a tool of choice. Now it's the SD card to be removed. The next thing you want to do is remove uh, the back or the six screws that hold in the back casing. This is with a Phillips head. It's a very easy process. Um, when you're done with that, you can remove the back cover. And you want to go around the edge as I am doing here and you'll feel the clips just pop out. It's actually pretty easy. It doesn't take too much force at all. The Samsung Fascinate overall is a pretty easy phone to disassemble uh, once you're used to doing these types of things. This one in particular has water damage. So we're going to show you some of the corrosion that is built up on the motherboard and we actually forgot to record the phone before um, before fixing it but trust me it did not turn on and, and you'll see the corrosion and there you have it the motherboard on top and the case easily came off And now you just got to find the various connectors, remove those. If you plan on trying to clean up the motherboard yourself, and I'm trying to show you some close-ups here of, of the of the water water damage. Most of the corrosion on the Samsung Fascinate is underneath the motherboard. It's a very tightly compact phone, as most Samsung phones are. Um, so a lot of corrosion does get built up, but they are quality parts. Uh, the same thing can be said for Apple. Um, Samsung and Apple generally have the the best quality parts and they clean up the best and they give us the best results as far as water damage go um, you know HTC Motorola Blackberry I guess you know all those phones also you know we can have success with them but we have found that Samsung and Apple um, due to the quality parts uh, respond best to water damage services So, I'm just kind of navigating through the different connectors here, figuring things out. Just want to be careful not to rip any of the cables. Um, you can use the metal edge to do these things too if you have something that's, that's sharp and a little bit easier than these safety pry tools, which aren't the best. But you know they are, they are the safest way to navigate the phone without ripping anything or breaking anything. Um, and, and if you ever buy a repair kit or anything like that, it's 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 the tool that comes with it. And you fix a couple of phones with these safety pry tools, and you know you'll notice that the edges break off really easy, and you go through lots of them. and I'm removing another screw with a Phillips head. This is so I can pull up the motherboard. If you do want to clean the phone off, you'll want, you know, 99% alcohol, um, you know, and uh, a soft brush. Alright, now, now I'm lifting it up. We use an ultrasonic cleaner in addition to the other methods. Ultrasonic is the best way to remove corrosion. Um, and it gets in between spots that, that alcohol and, and, a, and a soft brush just can't get into. Um, you can see how it's a lighter white towards the top. That's all corrosion.
So your phone doesn't work, it's because it's of the corrosion. If a phone has corrosion, we can typically fix it. Um, it's when the motherboard gets fried that you know nobody on this planet can fix it without a new motherboard. Usually new motherboards cost just as much as a used phone. So. And there is a clip underneath there that you have to remove. Once you remove that, you can remove this little top part here where corrosion has likely built up underneath there as well. And there's the money shot. Uh, some corrosion you can see pretty easily. Other corrosion, it's small, but it can do it can do damage and definitely affect the performance of the phone. So at this point we'll take the motherboard, put it in the ultrasonic machine, dry it out, clean it off once again uh, with alcohol and I'm not going to tell you the exact process but it's uh, pretty effective. To take out the screen you just got a uh, clip around it ends or um, around the front here get underneath the edge it comes off fairly easily and this is the phone after the water damage service after we've reassembled and uh, it's fixed it all worked out as the repair launch water damage service our ultrasonic cleaning service is the way to go if your phone is not working send it into us you have nothing to lose We'll give you a diagnostic and tell you if it can be fixed. If any replacement parts are needed, we'll let you know. We try to keep the cost down and uh, are very fair and honest in our approach. Thanks for watching at RepairLaunch.com.